हेलो वेलकम बैक हम लोग बहुत बात करते हैं पेट्स के बारे में लेकिन कभी वेट्स के बारे में बात नहीं करते टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक दैट हमारी एजुकेशन हमारा आज का जो वेटनेरियन है जो न्यू वेटनेरियन और मेरी एज वेटनेरियन में कितना डिफरेंस है कितना हम लोग चेंज हो गए हैं वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट यू नो द वेटनेरी एजुकेशन इन इंडिया टूडे डॉक्टर प्रभाकन वट इज़ योर वे अबाउट वेटनेरी एजुकेशन इन इंडिया बिकॉज यू ग्रेजुएटेड इन टू उटसाइडेशन but in other ways like other side outside the countries like they are more passionate about it like they want to study that if you ask the student they say like they want to study animal science yeah. yeah. and also they go for it like i want to be a equine vet i want to be a, like a bovine vet so like that like they choose the field hmm. here it's not like that one so moreover like that field of veterinary means uh, this is the picture given it like that people only treat the large animals cow and they how to wear a kind of like a big shoes like in their ear prongs and then yeah, all, all the time with the yeah the picture and which so is presented is like different you know given as like kind of people like a end students like a like anybody want to study the course it's a kind of disappointing them True. I think it's a feel but they're not about but, passionate about but it but this is uh, like 2001 when you first graduated I graduated in a long 10 years back from you and then that scenario was that. Yeah. Now I just ask you guys you are like fresh graduates and you graduated 2 and a half years or 3 5 years back I believe you graduated how do you differentiate that? So uh, basically my point of view is like the sir and I graduated from the same college he graduated in the 2001 I graduated in 2021. That's very good yeah. So there's the like huge difference. Ha. Uh-huh. But I will say uh, I think veterinary education is evolving it's evolving very fast and I think we are becoming a good part of this and right now owners are also getting more and more questions to us even from owner side they are forcing us to go at certain level of more extent like we have to go for more diagnosis purpose we have to go for more uh, preventive purpose so i think these are the things it's evolving though how do you how do you find that a picture of large animal doctor and a pet doctor how like when you yeah. you thought yeah. of becoming a vet you know exactly. what was your uh, imagination about the veterinary science so basically uh, as i told in india only 1% people will be there that they who wants to be a veterinarian most of wants to be a mbbs doctor and that too i think it's come from some societal pressure parents pressure exactly. our pressure yeah. i think it's oh, everyone is involved in this i think in our shastras we used to uh, believe so much in pets we used to give them uh, we treat them equally but right now at this society we are not treating them equally and i think scenario changing right now but i must say now uh, the youngsters uh, now like after 20 years and 25 years i'm getting into the college i can see the huge difference now the exactly. youngsters they have got a great opportunity to study handle that like a equipment <coughs> everything even the ultrasound like all the equipment they are handling so that means like it's a great like achievement for exactly. the new youngster but at the same time so like what i personally feel is like the veterinarians once become a, like a tertiary practice they are now forcing their um, children or child everyone to like to become a veterinarian which should not be the case like they want us to have a interest exactly. to come out exactly. rather you forcing them you have to be the whole family to be the veterinarian everyone has a their own interest if they have a interest then they can study well they can practice also that rightly is my said, own rightly said dr prabhakaran what happened there is a combination of many things it's like i will consider when i graduated in 1992 or and before that it was like colleges were less right yeah. resources was very less yes. and awareness towards veterinary profession was very almost less. zero i would say exactly. people would say okay uh, 
आपको डॉक्टर बनना है डॉक्टर मीन्स लाइक ओनली एम बी बी एस डॉक्टर और द मेडिकल डॉक्टर वॉज द ओनली मीन्स डॉक्टर अदरवाइज वेटनरी साइंस वॉज लाइक ओके आप डॉक्टर बनने जा रहे हो जानवर का डॉक्टर बनने जा रहे हो दैट वॉज द सोशल इवन वेन वी यूज टू गो आउट आप से सब डॉक्टर नाम बोलेंगे डॉक्टर सो एंड सो अच्छा अच्छा कहाँ पे काम करते हैं नॉल दस बट अच्छा जानवर के डॉक्टर हैं वो तो इमीडिएटली यू नो बट बट आई टेल यू वन थिंग आई हैव ट्रेवल ऑल थ्री डिकेड्स राइट एंड द सीनियर इज चेंज अ लॉट बिफोर इफ माई टाइम हम वट ऑफ द फीमेल पॉपुलेशन In it was a, almost like one percent of the thing. Now it is like fifty, fifty percent, or more than that. So see, we should be excited and be thrilled about this. You know, the things are changing. This is also good point, right? And then equally, you know, that we have the access to internet, we have access to the good books, we have access to travel also abroad. We have so many company companies are coming in. They are educating you, medicinal companies, surgical companies. They are trying to educate you and get you, you know, like more aware about the latest going on. But in India, still we are missing education part because we need to grow. We Very need to good. grow, and especially like diagnostics. Yes. Diagnostic yes. is what is missing. Treatment, forget about that. That is the later part. But first is the treat uh, diagnosis. Treatment comes later. So we have to work hard as a veterinarian. And so like, and science is so that you have. It's not one human. It's like other species, in, including human, because pet is kept by the human. we have to understand zoonotic in between we have to understand other things equally society thinks so responsibility of a veterinarian is more about you know anybody else in the society because if you are having a pet it means the responsibility are we as a veterinarian we consider that we we are different we are about many other things you know we are the we are not aise waise wala cheez we are something that we are doing so much we are treating cows we are treating buffaloes we are treating horses we are treating birds we are treating wildlife we are treating pets basically we are jack of all subjects yeah, exactly so no no i am proud to be a veterinarian yeah so that's what one we should feel it now one thing i'm going to add it up here now the elder practicing veterinarian when somebody is approaching them i want to go for a, a study of veterinary course as a parents asking we should openly tell them motivate them okay you can be a good vet you study this is also good course yeah. now here the practice is like every with some like we and we practice we feel like they are going to come and like be a competition it's not the competition absolutely that like when we more vets practice it is going to be we are all going like to grow together going together. to grow up so that we need to say like not to disappoint anybody comes up with a don't go for a veterinary course yeah. no we are a veterinarian we should be proud of being yeah. a veterinarian and we want to be like a interesting ones are like a more like a student to come forward to join this course so yeah. uh, i just want to say my little opinion on something like one is here we all are the small uh, small animal vets but i do consider that large animal is the fantastic field okay, if you but... will go for the proper diagnostic if you will approach the field is the fantastic field and i think our country needs more and more of large yeah. vets large large animal yes. vets because so, it's a lack of knowledge so everybody want to be like kind of to sit in the office at work exactly. they don't know what to go because to field work because doesn't have that much knowledge that they can consider because there are lots of quacks are in the field they are not treating uh, large animals in <coughs> such a good way that should be treated so that's i added yeah. you know the responsibility of a veterinarian if you are a veterinarian you are very you know like responsible doctor yes, exactly it's like a responsible Once professional we, yeah. i would put there this way so i think uh, still we need to grow and we are growing and as a veterinarian i request all the pet parents and the veterinarians to just love them respect them and we promise you as a veterinarian that we were lacking definitely we were lacking because the education pattern was different now things are changing and the world is changing pretty sure you will find the best vets in the future also and present also they are the best yeah. 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 right yeah. and we will not say that we will be above west or east or north or south no we are the best best we need to be practical whatever our mahatma ji said so we need to treat our animals in a good way so that is the way like we are going to be apply this one in the practical not in a board not in a statue so we have to be applied in a field exactly. they it's like 
your society is judged how you you know like keep your animals yes we should be more kinder I think. kinder mm. and we need to support we the voiceless yeah. so definitely, definitely and to improve ourselves as a veterinarian go yeah. be more good professionals yeah. i believe I and for all the young vets who are going to be you know like part of the veterinary profession in future study hard and be love animals and love society thank you very much thank for you. watching us